Hi, I'm Mike Wilbur. Welcome back to Fire Engineering Training Minutes. As you recall from our last segment, we spent a great deal of time on talking about the fire rescue position and the firefighting position of a pre-pipe waterway. We did extensive discussion about the pin, having the pin in place properly, and how important that that was. In today's training minutes, we are going to supply this aerial device with water. One of the biggest challenges in supplying this device with water is try to prevent water hammer from, from enacting on the device and potentially damaging the device or even causing a catastrophic failure. I want to have my assistant come in now and we're going to show you using two firefighters what actually could happen to this ladder if you do not have two separate and distinct supplies of water as we have laid out here for you. Okay, you're going to put your arms up. Your arms are the aerial ladder. The aerial ladder is constantly trying to be drawn down by gravity. So manufacturers put these things in here called pistons to try to offset gravity. But now we're going to introduce water, which is another whole issue. So what I want you to do is rest your hands in the mine and we're gonna show our audience what happens when we introduce water to this uh, ladder pipe operation. Gravity is trying to constantly pull the aerial device down. Now we have introduced water and the water is going to push back up. So we have gravity, water, gravity, water, no water. And that kind of torque on the aerial device could cause damage or even a potential catastrophic failure. Okay, now we're ready to start water. And again, the key to starting water here is that we're moving a lot of water. There's a lot of water weight in motion. We want to try and reduce water hammer as much as we can. So the object here is to open everything slowly. We're going to start with our hydrant and our hydrant man is going to supply water not only to the ladder, but he's going to supply water to this pumper. Remember, we've said right from the start in this evolution that it's very important if fire ground conditions allow that you have two separate and distinct supplies of water coming into the apparatus at one time. We realize that it's not always possible to establish two separate and distinct supplies of water, but whenever it is, we really want you to try and avail yourself of that opportunity to protect the apparatus. We now have water to the engine, and the engine company operator is now going to supply water uh, to the aerial uh, device. Watch how he opens the valves very slowly, very, very slowly. We want to try and prevent any water hammer. We now have water to the base of the aerial, and the aerial operator will again start to open valves slowly to supply the ladder pipe. This truck, like most trucks, are equipped with relief valves. Again, to prevent water hammer, make sure that your relief valves are set properly so that if there is a problem, the water will blow off as part of the action of the relief valve. As you can see, we have safely established a water supply and we have a tremendous firefighting stream now operating off the tip of this apparatus. Thank you for watching this edition of Fire Engineering Training Minutes. I'm Mike Wilbur and we'll see you next time.